my mother. A toast to father's return. What the devil? and lays at your feet the spoils of an enemy at war. Oh, sorry, that's, uh, that's my overnight bag. <laughs> Behold! Treasures torn from the torsos of the top. Oh, my Kangas, it fills me with joy and hope to see you. What news of my father, the king? Oh, when I last saw him, he swore he would be back by the Feast of St. Leonard and die near Tim. God forfend! We shall pray for his safe passage. Join us! Join us! You must be starving. And uh, young Lochinvar. Oh, yes, and him too. Come on, Lochinvar. <laughs> You must be the king's wee bit of rumpy pumpy, eh? I am the queen. Aye, aye. Well, I've got a message for you. My father asked me to send his regards to you. Do I know him? Oh, I think you can say that, yes. He's Donald McAngus, third duke of Argyll. Oh. <laughs> ah, Edmund, there you are. McAngus, this is the man who's providing the entertainments for us tomorrow. Ah, oh, the eunuch! <laughs> Delighted to know him. Yeah. There's a group for your trouble. A eunuch. Oh, you sound like one to me. <laughs> I am not a eunuch. I am the Duke of Edinburgh. Oh, you are, are you? Yes. <laughs> Same old story, eh? Duke of Edinburgh had about as Scottish as the Queen of England's tits. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, <clears throat> mere French, Your Majesty. I'm sorry, you're in my chair. Don't apologise. <clears throat> well, now we've all got to know each other, I have rather a special announcement to make. Well, tell me you're a eunuch as well. Angus, as reward for your heroic deeds in battle, my father here empowers me to grant you anything that you may desire of me. If he's got any sense, he'll ask for a haircut. <laughs> I'm honoured. All I ask for is a scrap of land. Grant me fair Selkirk and the noble shire of Roxburgh. What? Very well, by the power vested um, in me. Excuse me, um, I'm sorry to dip my little fly in your ointment, but uh, <laughs> those lands do in fact belong to me. Yes. Well, so perhaps, perhaps he'd like to choose somewhere else. Look, Angus? No, no, all of Roxburgh and Selkirk. But that leaves me with Peebles. Oh, eh, and Peebles. <laughs> Are you trying to say something, Edmund? Well, I don't know. I, I mean, some people might say, well, what an absurd idea, giving away half of Scotland to a kilted maniac for slaughtering a couple of syphilitic turks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fair. I say, let's reward him. Good, good. So be it. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray!